Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Richard Schneeman or at Schneems on the internet. Today I am here to talk to you about OAuth 2. So let's say we have two servers. I have a server and Facebook has a server. I want to get some information off of Facebook server, but Facebook doesn't know that I do in fact own my server. So we can use OAuth. OAuth can identify my server as an OAuth client and Facebook has already implemented an OAuth provider. So first of all, we will have to register the OAuth client as an OAuth client. It will receive a client ID and a client secret from the OAuth provider. Typically, this will be a manual process. In the case of Facebook, you will actually go and create a new developer account in order to do this. Once we have those credentials, we can send a user over from the OAuth client to the OAuth provider and tell the OAuth provider that we are looking for authorization for this user. Um, in this request, we also need to send the client ID. This is how the OAuth provider remembers who we are and the redirect URI. And this is where we have implemented custom code uh, to catch the user as they're coming back into the system. So the OAuth provider is going to want to know, is this okay with the user? Is the user going to want to allow the OAuth client to have access to this information, to their information? So they will typically show something like this, a screen asking the user whether or not they want access. If they say, yes, I grant access, then the OAuth provider will respond by redirecting the user back to the redirect URI given by the OAuth client. In addition, it will also include a parameter of code. <clears throat> the code will have a uh, one-time use kind of unique token that can then be exchanged for an, an access token. The OAuth client then will take that code and issue a post to the OAuth provider at a given URL and it will include the code as well as a client ID and the client secret that we got previously. This is so that the OAuth provider knows that no one is actually, no one is faking being the OAuth client and that indeed that user really did give access to this specific OAuth client. Once the OAuth provider gets all of those and all of those are correct, then it will send back an access token to the OAuth client. The OAuth client then has access. They can do anything like a user would be able to. They just send the access token along to, with any uh, URL requests to the OAuth provider, and the OAuth provider knows that they are behaving like that user that has that access token. They will then return back the appropriate results. So OAuth 2 is very powerful, very useful. We see it every day uh, with Facebook, Twitter, uh, Google, Gmail, uh, G+. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Hopefully you learned something and have a great day.